Hi, I'm Travis Dawson and this is the Cat Slapper. It consists of Arduino Uno, an Arduino Nano, uh, three servos, one infrared sensor, and one pack of batteries. Uh, the pack of batteries is required above the uh, power that I get from the USB cable because uh, these three servos uh, pull enough current that they won't actually move to the position they need to if they don't have more. So, what we're going to do now is run through the setup routine. That will set the sentry servo scanning through its angular positions. And what you see in processing is this red line advancing. The red line it represents the control values being stored in the uh, control array. Uh, the green line that you see advancing now are the scan values um, that it's now comparing against the control array. And if the scan values are uh, high enough or higher enough than the control, uh, what you'll see is them extend further. Um, the, uh, you hear the actuator going and the cat eyes pop up. There might be something um, in the field of view worth slapping at. So, like I say, this is running the code. The Uno is running the code to check uh, those uh, arrays against each other. If it notices something high, it sends it through um, digital pin 12 into the nano at digital pin 10. The nano is watching digital pin 10 and then we'll actuate this servo up here if it sees a high value. Um, the reason why I'm running the nano rather than just running this servo off of the uno as well is in case i wanted to use a solenoid um, with its own timing or perhaps a dc motor with its own uh, pulse width modulation um, those timing i wouldn't want to interfere with the sensing loop of the uno so sitting on top here of course of the uh, targeting servo the targeting servo will actually follow the angular position of the uh, sensing servo. Uh, that's so that it doesn't have to be running all the time. Um, just creating a lot of noise and annoying everyone. Anyways, if you want to make a cat slapper, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry.